Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to the Outdoor Gear Review. On my back, I have a military pack, which will look similar to some of you all. I will go ahead and do a 360 for you. I know what you're thinking. Luke has a Woodland Camo Alice pack on his back. And folks, you would be incorrect. This is the NATO Woodland Combat Pack. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's take a look at it now. Before going any further, a big thank you goes out to SwissLink for making this review possible. If you are interested in picking up one of these packs, head over to SwissLink.com. You will find a link in the description box down below. Awesome site, great deals, great wares. Oh yeah. To the pack. Absolutely, it does look like a medium-sized Alice pack, but it is different. Lots of pockets here, a lot of space. It is also frame compatible, so you can take your Alice frame connect it with this bad boy right here and you have a very good system. As you can see there are a lot of pockets. Let's go to the side. Right here you have a pocket with a draw pool. You have another one on the other side. Very good size. It can hold a one liter water bottle with plenty of space left over. It's very deep, right? Going on. You have a good size pocket here that's adjustable and it connects thanks to these snaps right here. Going to the middle here, you have a much larger pocket, which is big enough to store a full-size poncho. It's adjustable, all that good stuff. Going on, again, a good size pocket, it's adjustable, and then you have another draw pull pocket. Very good size. It can support a thermos with some coffee in it. It's time for a power up. What do you guys think? Oh yeah. As far as external pockets go around the body, that's it. So let's move up here to the lid. Now the lid is fully adjustable thanks to these straps here, right? Pull them tight, let them loose. With the lid, just like the Alice pack, you do have a Velcro map pocket. To get access to the main portion of the pack, there is a draw pool. So you can cinch this up. Then it expands into a large pocket. You do have webbing across the middle here, which you can use with Alice clips and so on. Attach other pouches, whatever you want to. On the inside of the pack, it is very similar to the Alice pack. You have the radio pouch. You can put a hydration bladder in there if you want to. It's fully adjustable. Going down, you have grommets in the bottom for drainage. And that is it. Flipping the pack over, as you can see, it's a very basic system. You have the shoulder straps, which are very padded, but they are very, very hard. These are not very comfortable, and I would recommend changing these out pretty quickly. They are fully adjustable, as you would expect. Very easy to make adjustments and all that good stuff. There is not a quick release feature with this pack. As you can see behind the straps, you do have placement for a frame. You can definitely rig something up, make it work. My pack did not come with a waist belt but there are buckles so you can implement one if you need to or if you want to. So here with the NATO Woodland Pack, you're looking at a cost of $45 from SwissLink. It is made from high quality nylon and is water resistant. So everyone, that is the NATO Woodland Pack. What do you guys think about this thing? Without a doubt, it is very Alice-like, right? That's not a bad thing, not at all. You know, personally with my testing so far, I like this pack. But these shoulder pads, they have to go. These are probably the most uncomfortable shoulder pads I have ever used. I mean, they're hard as a rock, probably due to age. So I definitely recommend replacing those. Go ahead, pop this on a frame. It will be much more comfortable. So with all that being said, a big thank you must go out to SwissLink for making this review possible. Folks, make sure to check out their website. Check out this pack if you're interested. Let me know if you have any questions by emailing me. Until next time, everyone, strength and honor. I'll see you guys around. See ya.